Yeah. You said you, you put on some weight a little uh, bit from yeah. a physical standpoint. You know, how do you feel? What was your kind of what has your work been in that, that department? Yeah, just right uh, I mean that's that's always like an important thing when, when you're playing. You know, just being able to take because not only are you you know hitting people but you're getting hit all the time you know there's a physical wear and tear on your body and you know just having a little bit more weight behind you um, you know allows that to not hurt as much like hits aren't as painful or things like that you know what I'm saying so you're a little more a little more uh, durable. How do you just feel in general about kind of playing you know it's a crowded secondary just in uh, I, I feel good I mean I, I, this is going in my third year now so uh, I'm excited for the season I think you know the room is just really competitive and I think that you know has pushed everybody to be so much better, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just think that the, the competitive nature makes it so that I can never you know, ease up. It makes it so that I'm just bringing the best out of me every day. So I'm, I'm excited for the season. I'm, yeah, I'm doing good. As you guys are heading toward, uh, you know, a game pretty much around the corner, um, what's the competition like this week versus, you know, kind of in the beginning of fall camp? Um, I feel like, you know, during fall camp, obviously everything's a lot more intense. You know, you're going at it every single day, um, you know, in pads, tackling, and things like that. And now that, um, you know, we're getting ready, we're getting close to the game, you know, we're kind of easing off a little bit. You know, we're still being competitive. Um, but, you know, we're just, you know, making sure that we keep each other safe at the end of the day because, you know, we want to be fully healthy going into the, into the first week. So. Are there any areas that you've seen yourself grow or uh, improve from the beginning of fall camp or from the off season? I think my my biggest improvements have come like mentally. I feel like I feel like you know my confidence has just you know been increasing every day. Um, you know just to the point where I'm just I'm just so I can't wait to take the field. You know because I know that I'm gonna go out there and do what I plan to do. Um, just and I think that that's where I uh, that's where I see the most improvement in myself. Is that a conversation that you've had with the coaching staff, or is that something you've had kind of that, that, That's more of, an, more of an internal thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a, a guy uh, that comes in and talks to us, TK, and a lot of things we talk, one of the things he talks about a lot is like your self-talk, you know, just having positive self-talk, and I, you know, there's been times where I've, you know, talked to myself negatively, um, gotten down on myself, um, and I think that, you know, during this last fall camp, I've made it a point to, um, always speak positively to myself even if I do make a bad play you know just make speak positively to myself um, pick myself up and I think that that uh, has really helped me Sir, you're such a fun loving big smile guy is there a switch that goes on when you're on the field during a game uh, I mean, I think I think it's just focus, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I've been playing football my whole life, and I don't think that uh, my personality off the field is really something that uh, changes when I get on the field. Like, I feel like I'm still the same person, but it's just I'm focused on what I'm, what my job is, you know what I'm saying? So. What were some of the outcomes or uh, some of the things you saw from, from the defensive backs in the, the last scrimmage? I'm sorry, can you repeat that for me? Uh, what are some of the areas that you kind of saw improvements or uh, some of the things that you saw from the, the last scrimmage that you guys had? Oh, yeah, I mean, I just think that every as a group, we've all gotten better. You know what I'm saying? From 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 start to finish, I think, you know, just getting those live reps um, constantly against the receivers and, and against Caleb um, is, 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 you know, improves us every day. So that's really all I can say. Did any plays or any uh, anybody stand out uh, from that scrimmage? I just, I think the whole secondary has been doing a really great job. You know what I'm saying? And the D-line has um, really been getting after it for sure. I think that's one thing on the defense that I'm excited to see. Um, just, you know, how, how well they're able to get to the quarterback. Other times when Caleb makes a great throw and you just have to remember he's a Heisman winner. No, literally, I be I be thinking about that sometimes. It's like I forget because it's like he doesn't really he doesn't carry himself any type of way. You know what I'm saying? He's just he's just a, a, one of my teammates. But then like I'm watching him play and I'm like, dang, like this dude is amazing. <laughs> you know? And so it's like, but he did win the Heisman. It's, it's crazy to be um, to think like 30 years from now, like I'll look back and be like like the Heisman winner was on my team. So that's it's pretty cool. You yeah. had the opportunity to pick him off in the spring or uh, fall. I, you know, so I think I think I may have gotten hit some here and there, but I think, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't be. I don't honestly don't be paying attention to what quarterback is in. If I get the ball in my hands, I'm, I'm worried about that.